namaskara uh, guru prasad and uh, welcome to belasiri i have vivek with me and uh, who is a urban farmer is uh, is feeding the urban population with a very chemical free and uh, poison free uh, food you know uh, we are in his farm and um, uh, we are going to go through his experiences and how he started and why he started we will understand all that hi vivek hi guru welcome to my farm <laughs> i'm doing good uh, thank you everyone namaste to all of you uh, welcome to be nutrified hydroponics that's the name of my farm and uh, yeah welcome to my farm let me give you a tour around this place so why you started i know i know you are uh, you are working in a mnc company and uh, uh, why you wanted to do all this yes guru as you said i work in an mnc company and of course uh, when you um, are working in a job you always especially being in bangalore you have that entrepreneurial entrepreneurial uh, kida in you right yeah. so you want to do something or the other on your own uh, and and maybe start a side hustle so that's one of the reasons why this concept came out and in fact there is a interesting story behind this mm -hmm. uh so i do this with uh, uh my partners and uh you know last year in fact when covid second wave was going mm -hmm. on we started to think okay let's it would be interesting to own our own farmhouse mm -hmm. because we did not have uh, a lot of uh, travel happening around that time so we thought why not uh, look for a farmland so we started searching and when we were looking for a farmland we started far away from bangalore mm -hmm. uh but then you know we we thought of why not do something when we are buying this mm -hmm. this land uh and that's when we started to research a little bit more about what we can do and learned about hydroponics which mm -hmm. is an amazing concept of soilless farming also uh we can call it organic though it's not called organic in india yet mm -hmm. uh but yes it's chemical free it's pesticide free so it makes total sense uh and and that's why we uh started you know to to give it more focus and start with hydroponics so in fact our farm is just 50 kilometers from bangalore right uh and then as you said urban uh farmer with with the focus on uh feeding the the urban population yeah. and that's the the whole idea okay great so why hydroponics you could have done you know you already bought a land and you would have done uh, on soil right absolutely so uh, it, it is the future right there's there's no two way about it uh we know the kind of environmental issues we are facing uh, with in today's world uh there is lesser and lesser groundwater there is uh, populated water uh you have a lot of polluted. pesticide polluted water not populated we are populated <laughs> <laughs> so yes polluted water you have a lot of pesticides and all of that Direct. mixed in the Direct. soil and the soil is also losing its uh, fertility sure. so it, it makes all the more sense to look at modern techniques where you are recycling the water usage so you're reducing the amount of water that you're using and you're not harming the soil by uh adding more and more right, pesticides right. to it right so so that's why that's hydroponics is the thing, future you know, that's why i asked that question see he had so many other options to earn money right he is not here to earn money he wants to feed people and at the same time earn money with a ethical principles right absolutely you don't want to put poison you don't want to make soil polluted right yeah. soil is like we have to let it recover for some time yes right? <laughs> absolutely so this this whole setup you know how many plants you are growing yeah. uh great so this is the first farm that we have built uh, so we went for uh, a 12000 square feet uh, setup yeah. right and uh, we have capacity of around 32000 plants okay uh and and you know we can grow multiple varieties at the same time okay so you're focusing mostly on the leafy vegetables absolutely so, uh, and and since this is nft channel cultivation uh, leafy vegetables is what's preferred more and and yeah. that's what we started with right so all kind of lettuce uh, bok choy uh, spinach all exotic all exotic common anything can be anything leafy right. can be grown yeah. in nft channels learn more about it vic uh, what were your initial struggles i know it's a huge setup and even you were doing it for the first time i would like to know all that well of course when you start something new uh, and you're stepping into something new there are a lot of challenges that you face uh, i would say the 
the biggest or rather one of the the biggest uh, challenges that we faced or struggle that we had was finding the right uh, place uh, with correct documentation right so if you're buying a land you need to really have all of that in place right so that took quite a lot of search we we must have checked out uh, hundreds of properties and and that's when we finally found something which we could uh, really work on in terms of logistics in terms of the dimensions of the land and the safety access so so that was the first one and of course the second initial struggle that we faced was to identify who would be the right person to help us set it up again because uh, we are new to this field we don't really have those contacts right so you need to really check what work people have already done uh, for example, let's say the person who's going to build poly house for you, you need to make sure that the quality of the poly house is up to the mark and it stays, sustains for at least 10 to 12 years. Otherwise, you are not really going to make any profit out of this venture. So uh, doing that initial civil work, finding the right people to build it for you was also a challenge, uh, initial struggle that we you know, primarily faced. So, um, Vivek, how are you planning to sell your produce? I, I know it is a huge setup and 35,000 uh, plants and uh, eventually you'll get uh, tons of produce. Yeah. How are, how are you planning to do that? Uh, that's a great question, Guru. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> in fact, of course, uh, uh, you know, with 30, 32,000 plant capacity, we are looking at if we run the, the farm at full capacity, we are looking at four tons produced per month, which is huge. And it's absolutely important for you to ensure that you have the demand for the supply that you're generating. Uh, and, and that's where it gets a little tricky. Uh, you know, you, you have multiple channels and of course you do not really have a, a regularized uh, market out there, right? So you don't really have a, a single Monday kind of place where you can go sell it because that's not going to work out yeah. for the, the setup that you have made in hydroponics. Right, so you need to identify uh, different channels. Of course, you can uh, ultimate goal would be to go for farm to folk uh, because that way you remove any distributors, any middlemen, and uh, uh, you know your your crop moves faster. Plus, uh, you get value for money, and of course you reach out to distributors. Uh, you can you know have agreements in place with. Uh, retailers like Big Basket, uh, you can reach out to other distributors and uh, have some agreements in place again. So, so that way you have that surety that uh, you have a part of your, uh, you know, produce moving out on a regular basis. So, so these are just a couple of channels. Of course, there are multiple other things that you can look at. So, we're, we're still exploring those. And yeah. Of course, you know, it takes time. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you all also have uh, premium customers for this because these, these produce which are grown without soil are very uh, nutritious. Absolutely. And uh, uh, people are there to value your product and they can give a little extra money to buy this because, exactly. because it's, it's a quality, because of its quality. Absolutely. And of course, at the end, uh, I think we need to look at building our own market. And if we right. can bring in that farm to folk concept, that would be the perfect way to go about that'll it. be wonderful uh, so vivek uh, after seeing your video you know if uh, there are lots of people who get uh, you know uh, motivated right so if someone wants to do it let's mm. say newcomer or who has already done already in the process of uh, becoming a farmer like this mm -hmm. what do you advise to them absolutely well first of all it's a great thing to uh, get into farming i think this is something noble that uh, you're doing and you're changing the way agriculture is looked at in India. There is still a lot of scope for us to improve in terms of how much we produce, the quality we produce and we can take on, on the world, uh, you know, with the kind of resources and the kind of uh, farmland we have available. So well to newcomers, I would say since hydroponics is pretty new to India uh, and it, it, it would be a new concept for you. There is no approved standard formula to do almost anything. You will have to set up your own process. You will have to choose your own methods uh, based on the capital you want to invest. What is it that you you plan to grow and how you want to scale it up, right? So, so you'll have to look at all these factors and you will have to go step by step, have patience, uh, test your hypothesis, 
make sure the the testing is is done because uh, uh, you know you you would not want to rework on something which you have already done uh, you know if it comes to that so make sure that you have patience you test your hypothesis and go easy on this and plants they love to grow yeah. right so they will grow you just need to put your process in in place have your own process defined and it's going to work out for you right so uh, even if someone wants uh, help uh, setting up the farm and uh, guidance and you can you can definitely help with that also absolutely so team, right? yes yes so uh, if if you are looking to step into hydroponics you have your own farm you want to build a hydroponic setup uh, or you already have a poly house and you want to set it up inside uh right you can always reach out to belicity guru you can always reach out to be nutrified hydroponics and we will support you as a team uh you know we we have gained so much experience in all the processes let it be germination let it be producing the crops variety of crops in different seasons what is the best way to build the poly house all the civil work difficulties that you face while building one uh so so you can reach out to us and we would be more than happy to to support yes, you yes. uh you can also reach out to belicity to uh you know look for farm visits you can reach out to be nutrified hydroponics as well for farm visits uh and learn from our experience what support are you getting from belicity uh well guru from belicity has been phenomenal phenomenal in the consultant support he has provided to us uh, as you mentioned earlier you have to set your own process there is no standard formula out there so you're going to read the books you can watch the videos but when it comes to uh, applying it in your farm you might see something is working for you something else right. is not working for you so you need that advice from someone who has experience in the field uh, and then guru is that person for us right so he is helping us experiment uh, different methods uh, and based on those tests and experiments we are applying what works for us and making that a part of our process uh, and because of that we have had a very successful first produce we grew four different varieties of lettuce and uh, uh, spinach uh, you know baby spinach as well as regular large spinach and and here is uh, a healthy plant of spinach right so that's what uh, guru has been doing for us and belisery has been a huge support yeah. thanks thank you to belisery and guru no problem you're welcome and you said a very beautiful thing right there is no formula here no nobody is perfect in yeah. the world and um, we can help you to form your own formula so exactly and not give you a formula so that's that's what uh, uh, the newcomers should understand you know yeah. most of the people what they do is you know they do it depending on someone else yes right like they'll think you know that he will take care he is yes. there kind of <laughs> we have to be hands on you know i'm i really appreciate you guys are very hands on and you come here and work here absolutely that's, that's something is needed i think and the consultants <laughs> yes yes guru i totally agree with that i think plants need love too and you need to be there to give them that uh, so it was a wonderful conversation with um, vivek um, and um, uh, i wish him all the best from uh, our uh, community of growers yeah um, i am so happy that uh, so many people are growing uh, uh, using this technique in bangalore and we have a huge demand for it and we are all doing with a very different uh, way of uh, growing you know we are not using any chemicals no poisons ethical practice and this is ethical yeah. practices so um, um, in the long run this is going to be one of the way to Absolutely. feed our uh, yes and uh, this mostly people, right? be mostly be the only way yeah, if yeah, you look at uh, future yeah. how we are uh, looking sure. at climate change right yeah yeah and we'll also let you know now how to order veggies from uh, these people be nutrified farm and uh, we have a platform built for you guys and we can supply to your door steps we'll tell all the information in the description please follow that and also follow our channel and uh, for more information like this thank you so much thank you so much guru thank you for visiting our farm and thank you for uh, also helping us out with your consultation no uh, and and you're welcome and we definitely look forward uh, for you guys to order healthy sustainable food uh, from us uh, look up for be nutrified hydroponics uh, on instagram and you can also uh, you know look at the description look at the platform order veggies uh, from there so great looking forward for that thank you thank you bye bye